Good morning, everybody. This is Carl over at Manabu Farms at our community lot. And you can see all the beautiful apples and zucchinis and kales and lettuces and cabbages and snapdragons and strawberries and purple cabbage, yellow cabbage, broccoli, zucchini, um, kales and chards and beans and sweet peas and man there was so much food here I couldn't even name every variety of the food we were growing on this lot alone let alone the other eight lots that we've got started now but what I wanted to show you is this is one lot here and we are gonna walk from here back to the lot that started it all back to lot one I'm gonna grab a strawberry on my way out the door munch on that but maybe two those are good As you can see, this is in the middle, truly in the middle of the urban area. So we have to keep this one kind of locked up. We actually had our first theft from this lot. Somebody stole one of the chickens off of this lot. That's why we now have three new chickens at our lot, which I'll show you when we get back there if you haven't already seen a video footage of them. So there's A Street, which as you know, is where the main lot is, is at the corner of A and 14th. And this, as you can see, is California and 15th. So that's one block, literally, away from our house or from our farm. So I figured on the walk up there, I could give you something to talk about. We got five new chickens. Five new chickens on the farm. And each one of those chickens needs a name. So our tip for the day for you is, if you're going to get chickens, or if you're going to get rabbits, or sheep, or turkeys, or any farm animal that you want to eat yourself, or you want to eat the offspring, or the eggs of, or anything like that, name it something that has a food-related name. <coughs> You've probably heard some of our bunnies' names in the past, you know, arugula, um, coffee, latte, things like that. By naming it that, you keep that food connection. And the kids that come by your farm or your own private children will be able to easier make that connection that that is food. Every time they say its name, somewhere in the back of their subconscious, it's going to register, oh yeah, that's a food I'm talking about, or two. So it makes it a little easier when it comes time for that harvest. <coughs> Well, as you can see, I don't know if you can make up that peak there at the end. That's us, one, literally one block away. And I just thought that this would be a good time to try a little competition for you guys. We want to name these five chickens something that deals with food. So I'm going to introduce you to the chickens here once we get inside the yard. And if you could post some comments below of what you think would be a good name for those chickens that maybe represents their personality or anything like that but at least it's a food name that's the main thing now I haven't picked any prizes or anything for this competition but at least for all future videos of the chickens you'll know when I call out its name that that's the name you picked and we'll make a big note of it maybe in a video say your name for your YouTube channel or something like that I really didn't think it was going to take me this long to walk home, being this close. Give you a little peek over the broken fence board there at the yard. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We're actually already on our property. We just got to get all the way down here to the gate. Okay, so, oh look who's coming running up to greet me, our kitty cat, yeah, there's another one of our kitty cats, they're both looking at me going, no, we weren't chasing the chickens, not at all, and evidently they weren't too bad, okay, these three here 
are the newest three and they're young so I don't know if that's gonna make any help or hinder in your decision maybe a younger name what's a young food name um, oh and they're just digging right away at the lettuce that we planted and eating all those seeds aren't they yeah are you guys picking up all the seeds that I planted yesterday that's nice of you you want to move on to a different box perhaps maybe pick the seeds out of that one too for me Well, they seem to have gotten along and adapted to living together because these two did not live with these three before. They were from three different lots. That was from the lot over there that I was talking about where one of them got kidnapped. And these two beautiful girls were hand-raised by a woman who actually kept them in their house. Can you imagine being able to reach over and pick up a chicken like that? And it just not flipping out at all? Yeah, hi. So they were hand-raised to be petted and loved and treated right and they will be so that's a uh, there you go folks one gold one one adult black one three younger black ones what are their names who knows maybe if you really pick a really good one that we really fall in love with we will send you a prize a package of seeds or something like that let us know what do you think comment below on what their name should be. Something to do with food. Remember folks, this is Carl saying, grow as much food as you possibly can. If we all gave up our lawns, there would be no more hunger in the world.